video we are going to be looking at how to format text and also how to format a table. In order to do that we are going to go File, New and create a new spreadsheet. When we create a new spreadsheet now I am going to type my name in when this allows me to. Still has to load. There we go. So now that's loaded, type my name in. Keegan Green. And then a little bit further down, I'm going to type KJG. So after I do this, I can then style this using the text up here. So let's change this to something different. Let's go Amatic. And then I'm going to change the font size. I'll change that to 14. Make it bold. And then I'll change the color as well. I'll make it a nice dark green. So if I, what I want to do now is I want to grab what I've done to this and apply it to this. Instead of going through all of that process again, there is one quick tool in here that will help me. So if I highlight this and then click on this tool, this is called Paint Format. If I click on here and then click on the cell that I want to apply that to, it will do it straight away. It's a very helpful tool, one that you should use a lot if you plan on doing a lot of formatting. So let's make a table. So this table, I'm going to name it Toothbrush, if I can spell brush correctly, Sales. Toothbrush sales, so, and now I've got my sales people, and in sales people I've got first name and last name, and then I've got colors, colors of different toothbrushes. So let's go red, blue, yellow, and green. So let's put some names in. I'll put my name in. So Geegan Green. Let's put some other names in. Let's put um, Rick Sanchez for you Rick and Morty fans out there. And we'll put Morty Smith in as well. I'll put one more name in. So I'll put just a generic one, Peter Griffin. So the first formatting I'm going to do is I am going to make each of these colors have a fill. The fill tool is up here, so what I can do here is I can just change it to a light color because when you print it off, you don't want the colors to be too dark, otherwise it could cause issues with the way your color is represented when printed. So let's get our green here, fill color, oh yellow, and there we go, there's a nice soft yellow, and we'll grab a light green as well. Okay. So once we've got that, we can then use another tool, which is called merging. So let's say I've got this toothbrush sales up here. And what I want to do with this is I want to center it so it's in between both tables that I've created. So let's go into Format, Merge Cells, Merge All. What that has done, that is merged all those cells, and now I can use this tool up here, the Align tool, to center it. And now you have got a centered text. And let's do the same with both the salespeople and the colors. So what I'll do is I'll first center it. And then I'll go Format, Merge Cells, Merge All. And then you can see here I'm doing the exact same again. Okay, now that I've got all that, once you print something like this off, this is what it will look like. It won't have any cells, it will just show what you have printed. So in order to show borders, you're going to want to put your own border on using the tool up here. So the best way to do this is there is a few different ways within this borders selection tool where you can create a border. So what I'll do is I'll show you the generic one, which is just all borders. But what if I want to change this a little bit? What if I want it so there's no line there? Well, there are a few different ways in order to do this. One way in which I like to do this is to then 
go like this. So this tool here shows all outside borders and then from here I can create it to how I want it to be. So let's go into here and let's put this on again for this area here. So I don't want that to be like that over here. So what I'll do is I will then just do that one more time. So now you can see I'm starting to incorporate different areas of this tool. So I use this tool here and what that did was that put that line there. So as you can see now, I do not need that line going down the middle to separate the first name and the last name because it isn't needed. If I wanted to get rid of that, it's very simple. I just go here, go back up to here, click this again. And you can see it's still there, but what you want to do is you actually have to undo it. So, and what I will do is I'll just leave that as is. So now that we've got that, we have managed to successfully format our table. And I will just make sure that it's like that. And you can see that we have something that looks presentable. That is all for this video. We will reconvene in the next one.